And then you have the James Webb telescope that's, you know, there's people that question the actual length of time that mm. occurred between the Big Bang and now, that maybe mm. it might be far longer. It's just a, a lack of understanding of what we understand currently about the creation of galaxies. And that these yeah, because, things... I mean, obviously the length of the, of the age of the universe keeps on getting older and older, and a lot of that's because of the, the Doppler, fit, Doppler shift, right? The red shift as yes. the galaxies are accelerating away, you know, we can calculate what the what, what their origin point probably was and how long it took for them to speed up like that right so, but and only yeah. based on our current understanding yes which is obviously at least fairly limited in terms of what its potential is well yeah like we still don't quite understand the origin of the moon the moon is at the right location that causes solar and lunar eclipses it's like the right apparent uh, size to block out the sun. It's like super weird. Same thing with like Mars. We're not sure like what happened there where Mars, you know, had some probable life on it. Either a protoplanet hit it or there was some kind of impact that yeah. vaporized stuff and like who knows? Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. And this is just this little tiny neighborhood that we're looking at. It's like we are in our backyard looking for evidence of like life in Africa. 